All right, this video, we are going to take a look at um, embedding uh, online content via URL and YouTube videos. Uh, cool thing about when you embed online content on uh, the new Google sites is like, think of it this way, you were kind of like uh, embedding a, uh, a window into another website. So um, <clears throat> it's a little bit more dynamic than simply uh, putting a link. It's kind of like a link on steroids. So part of the reference. We're going to take a look at a, 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 of how to do this. So to, to embed content from another site. At this point, Google Sites is so new that their ability to embed content um, is, is somewhat limited, much more limited than the uh, than the old Google Sites. But um, it's as time goes on, it's going to be a lot more websites will be able will be available to embed. So what I'm going to do here, I have a I have a Padlet that I created and that I like to embed on my website. <clears throat> So people will see this on my site, and it becomes a clickable link at the same time. So again, it's a little bit more dynamic than just putting a link and click here. So I'm going to copy the URL of my Padlet, Padlet that I created, and I'm going to go to Embed URL and paste it. And again, it's not all websites will will work this way yet. Again, yet it, it will soon um, if it doesn't work like you see here you see the preview of, of what the page will look like then um, it'll say we're, it, they're just going to put a link for you that's how it's going to work and just like anything i can resize it so what i'm going to do to go ahead and see what this looks like from the public perspective i'm going to go ahead and publish it now when you publish <clears throat> Once you publish down here, it'll say view, so I can view what the what the world sees in my site. So if I'm, the world's gonna see this. This is like a, the window into my website. Um, they can't really click on anything here. When they click on the image here, it becomes a link to that Padlet. So kind of cool. Uh, next, we're going to take a look at embedding a YouTube video. Now there's. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. First way, you just click on YouTube right here. And I'm going to do a quick, I can do a quick search. So I searched, I searched up uh, Grumpy Cat. So this short Grumpy Cat video. I click on the video that I like. Again, this, um, searching this way, YouTube through Google Sites is semi-limited. Um, it's also another way to be, do more uh, dynamic search. So, I, but you can always start here. If you don't find what you need, you can do the other version later, but. Let's say for whatever reason, this is the one that I want. Click select, and the video is now part of my part of my site. So if I hit publish, then I can view it. And when I <clears throat> click on here, the video now plays within my website. There's no having to go to YouTube. So I'm gonna pause it right now. But I can also embed it, the URL of the YouTube. Now, YouTube will work guaranteed. So I'm going to go do a little search right here. Let's see here. So here's one of my channels here. So I find a video that I like. I'm going to copy and paste the URL. And for YouTube, I can paste it using the uh, embed URL tool as well. Well, the reason to do it this way is if you uh, if you're doing the search like we did for the Grumpy Cat video, and you may maybe you're not finding what you want, and you, you can go to YouTube itself, and you can do a much there's more search options. You know, and I can add it to the same page. I can resize it. I can move it around uh, anywhere on my site. So again, in, in review, we uh, looked at uh, embedding online content. Through URL, we embedded some YouTube videos either by doing a YouTube search within sites or by using the embed URL tool, copying and pasting the YouTube URL um, into Google Sites. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section, send me an email or a message on Google Hangouts.